What's going on, people? Tebs Weekly, episode number seven. That is it, number seven already. If you haven't seen episode number six yet, click here to watch that video. Um, it's going to be a late start to the week for me. I'm probably going to be starting out in the garage on Thursday because on Monday I've got to do the editing for Tebs Weekly, episode number six, to get that ready for Tuesday. And then Tuesday night I've got to do the editing for the Eastbourne English video to try and get out for Wednesday night, trying to get these out as early as possible. Well, as early as I can possibly get them done because they do take a bit of time. Um, so then Dad will be out there Wednesday night. I'll be busy doing something else Wednesday. And then my week will start on Thursday. So I'll be back to normal Thursday. I'll be in the garage. I'll be doing a bit. And just quickly now, if you enjoy these, don't forget to like it. Quickly like it. Don't forget to comment. Quickly comment. Don't forget to share it on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram or anything. I appreciate it all. Let's get to it. Hello, well, it's Wednesday evening. Kurt's not over tonight, so uh, I was going to carry on with the brakes on the trailer, but it's raining as usual. So I'm just going to see if I can get some of this sign writing off. We'll see how easy it is to get off. If not, I'm going to have to paint over it or sand it down or something. Try white spirit first. It's cleaning the bonnet, it's not touching the paintwork though. Let's try thinners. Have to get the sander out. That's how far I've got anyway. I'll uh, do this side tomorrow and the back. Not sure what I'm gonna do with the roof yet. I might just spray that over, spray over it with black, cover the red and silver and then just wait for that to go hard and spray the white ready for the cross, uh, which the sign writer can put on. So that's it for tonight. What is going on people? It's Thursday, uh, a very late start to the week for me. Uh, Monday, Sunday I was working and then I started editing the video, both videos on Sunday night and then Monday I worked till late so I carried on editing the videos trying to get one of them up for Tuesday and then I finished late again on Tuesday but I had to stay up and get the racing video sorted to get that uploaded ready for Wednesday. So I had a busy week, I was busy yesterday as well doing other stuff. Um, but I'm finally back here on Thursday. Dad was here yesterday, as you just see, sanding down the car, trying to get it ready for paint. And I know I said this a few times last week, but I am finally going to weld this front bumper up. We've got the gas, I've got the welder. Um, I've fa managed to find a little bit of 30 by 30 mil as well to finish that bumper, the bit I said the other, uh, last week. So I will finally get this done.
at the moment. But it's all right, I just don't know how, how to get them on easy. But I'll work it out. YouTube. There's always a Mac. Yeah. Right, it's time to weld upside down. Uh, as you can see here, that was my burn from last week, the little welding dance I've done. I'm hoping it don't happen again today. Bushies and noisy people, stop being so inconsiderate while I'm trying to cut and weld. I'll do another one. No, well you need a battery for the GoPro as well, but you need batteries for that clock. Because oh, right. I can't tell him what time it is now. Order them on Amazon. I'm going to get them. Oh, you got them upstairs? Alright. That'll do for today. Um, I don't know what time it is. Late. It is. Hang on. 8.45, uh, front bumper's all welded up, uh, finally. I made a few rumours up last week that I was going to do it, but I finally done it. <laughs> um, Dad's been messing about with a trailer, so that's a little bit nearer, I think, is it? Uh, well, well that, don't sound, that don't sound convincing. <laughs> but, Not quite. Right, well, he, had to play, he had to play about with a trailer, so... Um, I need to try and get here every day for the next few days, but obviously life might get in the way. But I'm hoping to get here Friday night, Saturday night and Sunday. I think I'm working Saturday and Sunday, but I'll try to get here. After work both days, but well, it was a good shift today and hopefully I'll be in here tomorrow. What is going on people? Friday afternoon, I'm not in the garage. I am not at work. I'm not at home. I'm not at Jack's. I'm in the transit. Oh, oh, that was a big pothole, and I need fuel. Uh, I am on the way, I just finished work. It's nice and early for once, actually, so I've got a chance to go and pick up the metal that we ordered last week to finish off the White Adam. We bought some 40 by 40 box sections, some 30 by 30 box section. We bought some sheet metal as well, so I can carry on plating the sides. We haven't actually decided whether we're gonna do the undersills yet, or just patch them up because they're a bit of a nightmare and they take time. And the sign writer is booked for the seventh, two days before Yarmouth. So there's a lot to do still. As I say, I want to be out there as much as I can from now till then to make sure we get it done. Uh, once I pick this metal up, I will be on the way to Dad's and I'll spend the Friday night at Dad's trying to get as much done as I can. Puddle. I thought the yard was bad. There she is. Ready to go. Are they cut a 3.3, eh? I've got no idea, mate. No. Alright, hang on. Uh, requested on yeah, yeah, it was cutting off. Do they come in 7.6? 7.5 to 7.6 quicker they come, so it'd be about 3.7.50, Right, no worries. That's what I mind that set, mate. I'll, just, I'll lean them up in that corner there. I 
thought they were going to come at 3-3. Three, three. Don't matter. Do something like that. One sheet. That's it, mate. That's it, yeah. Alright, sweet. All, right. All done, yeah? yeah sweet. I'm just gonna wait for it to all clang as I go over these bumps. Is it gonna? Oh. Let it settle in. No, it seems alright at the minute. Uh, you could tell that I'm a scaffolder because I worked out that them lengths were gonna be 3.3 .3 meters. So I thought I'd egg on Van Cushty. And as you can see, they didn't. But they managed to just go in there on the, on the piss a bit. And now I've got to drive to Dad's and it's saying an hour. Oh, uh, they're clanging now. This is a bad road. It's saying an hour. I've got to go on the M25 as usual. That is crap. The drive to Dad's ain't always the best, as to say, he lives about, from my house, about 45 minutes away, and from work, about 50 minutes away. So, but luckily I don't have to go on the M25 normally, but today I do, because I'm in Farnborough by the M3. It's an hour's journey. <sighs> Not gonna lie, I just had a touch. I went to fill up and shell, and they asked me if I wanted a loyalty card, I always say no. Don't bother with that. And uh, she goes, oh, right, well, if you sign up now, well, we can give you a free coffee. I was like, oh, oh, well, yeah, all right then, yeah, I'll sign up. So I signed up. I got my free coffee, boy. So I'm just sitting here, I'm having a look at what that mill just cost us, and prices are high at a minute. Well, they have been for a little while now. But just to give a bit of an insight of what it is, uh, we've got all of that metal that we just bought was £339. So we got two full lengths of 40 by 43 mil, one length of 40 by 44 mil, and we got two lengths of 30 by 33 mil and some sheet metal. So that will come to 339 pound. So you're looking at one front bumper takes two of these lengths. These lengths are cut in half from what we bought. They've been cut in half. Takes two of them lengths for a front or back bumper. So you're looking at, I think roughly about 50 quid. If you go trash your front bumper, it's about 50 quid. Plus all the 30 by 30, well, not, not everyone puts 30 by 30 into their cars, but plus the 30 by 30 bits that we put into it. So you're looking at maybe like 60, 70 quid a bumper. So that's just a bit of an insight of how much some of the metal work costs. And obviously the sheet metal that we bought, uh, we've got to put some of that on, but that should last us quite a while um, to repair bits and bobs. And another job that I've got today, why I've got the big van here, is get rid of all this crap. So I'm gonna take that away. Shout out to the old man for not having to go at me too much for having all that stuff there, but I'm finally getting it moved. You know when you can't remember why that's in the scrap pile? And the last job, which I didn't want to do, because I'm on my own, is get this engine in there.
And that will do for today. It's been a long, long day. Um, the biggest job this week was to get that metal and I finally managed to pick it up today. I finally managed to finish early enough from work to go to Farnborough, pick it up, bring it back to Dad's. It did mean that I sat on the M25 for an hour, so it took me over an hour to get here today, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I come here, I put the shift in, I've done as much as I could. Um, as you see there, I had to cut the sheet metal on the floor first to make it easy enough to put in the sheet metal cutter. Um, so when Dad's here tomorrow, I will pull the metal cutter out, get the big sheet on there, and I shouldn't have to, well, I don't know, it still might be easier cutting it on the floor first and then shaping it on there. But anyway, it's easier with two people, but I managed to get the two bits done on the driver's side, lucky enough. Um, and I've just been having a look at the Eastbourne video quickly, and it's got three and a half thousand views in two days, which is unreal. And I appreciate everyone that's liked it, everyone that's commented, everyone that has subscribed, everyone that's messaged me privately. Um, I appreciate it all. Thank you very much. Um, it's doing really well, and it's egging me on to do more. It's Thursday. I've just finished work. That's no, Thursday. It's not Thursday. <laughs> it's Saturday. It's Saturday. I finished work, and uh, I'm currently sat at A1 Metal Recycling in Wokenham, waiting to drop off this scrap. There's a bit of a queue though. Um, and then once I've done that, I'll be making my way over to Dad's, put another shift in there, try and get the metal work finished today. I always keep saying I'll try to do this, and we'll do that. And a lot of the time, you don't end up finishing it because 10 minute jobs end up taking hours. But Dad's back anyway today, so he can give me a hand doing the big side. Um, so yeah. That's it really, sit here waiting. I picked up 70 quid, which ain't bad really. So that pays for a bit of the metal that we just bought. Uh, I'm on the way to Dad's now to carry on with all the metal work. So me and Dad have been out in the garage for about an hour now and we've done absolutely nothing. We've been trying to work out a paint scheme on this black and white one, getting it ready for sign writing. Uh, we've been trying to figure out where everyone who's going to help us out with racing this year, where they want to go on the car and how we're trying to jiggle it all about to try and make sure everyone's happy. But now it's time to get on with some work. That'll do for tonight. It's what's the time? Nine, Nine o'clock. Friday night. Putting the shift in. <laughs> We're here. We're doing a bit. Should be down the pub. We should be down a pub, but we're both too tight to spend any money down there nowadays. <laughs> you definitely wouldn't buy a pint in a pub. <laughs> I haven't been to a pub for a long time. Oh, but. We was here, we'd done it, Friday night. I told you it wasn't a 10 minute job. Um, we got as far as, I did weld the plates on this side, the driver's side. Um, I was only gonna cut out a little bit of this seal on the driver's side, but in the end, we decided to just cut 
90% of it out and start again because it's just too much aggro otherwise. The other seal is a bit more of a challenge. It's really bent up thanks to Jack. Um, so that'll take a bit more time. So it's definitely, definitely not a 10 minute job. Um, but hopefully the car will be looking all fresh when it's all done. Um, I'm not going to be out here tomorrow, Sunday. I'm at work and then I've got other stuff to do. But Dad will be out here, so you'll be in safe hands. And um, I'm sure he'll entertain you. I'll let him tell you what he's doing tomorrow, just so it's not repeated. But yeah, that's it. I'm out. I'm done. I'll Dad will see you tomorrow. So it's Saturday morning and my job today is to start putting some paint on the white Adam, which is going to end up a bit more black than white. Uh, I'm going to do the black today. We're not finished doing panel work yet uh, on the white areas. So I will start getting the black on and see where we get. I've done a couple of coats now. I let the second one dry. I didn't bother recording it. Uh, the top coat's next. So, I'll carry on with that. And that is the end of Teb's weekly episode number seven. Plenty of big jobs ticked off the list this week. And I know next week there is plenty more to do. Not only are we getting this car ready for the sign right on the 7th, we also got to get every, all the other little jobs done as well to get it race ready on the 9th because we do want to be taking this one. Um, if you are liking this, guys, then please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you're really enjoying them, share them on your social media as well. I appreciate everything. And I'll see you in the next one.